I don't think any of us felt pressure, except maybe Quinta. Quinta, I'm sure, when she got in the writer's room and they do such heavy lifting before we ever do a thing, then we're all thinking about our characters and what we can do and what we can bring to it. But honestly, once we get there, we're not scared. We have each other. And once we start playing with each other and the scenes start cooking, I didn't have any fear or doubt. I'm like, I know what the show is. I know what the audience loves about it. Let's just deliver more of that. And not only was it, and I told people this at the beginning of the season, not only is it more of what people love, it's even better. And that is rare for a sophomore show. So I'm just, I'm so proud of it. I'm so proud of Quinta. I'm just, I'm the luckiest, I'm the luckiest little ancient actress in the world. Miss Shimenti, oh my gosh. Well, especially this last episode, uh, the, the bookathon, yeah. and when she was pushing, my kids are gonna win. Yeah. But that moment near the end when she realized, uh oh, we, we kind of have a little bit of a cheating problem here. Yeah. And, and sitting down and talking to her and, and her parents, um, oh, it was such a great moment because Miss Shimenti was just like, no, we, we actually have something here we need to talk about and you're not, Paying attention. Well, you know what a lot of the teachers responded to was the fact that sometimes they see what's going on with the kid. They want to help, but there might be some resistance. And as a mother of four kids, I understand. You don't want to hear, hey, listen, I think your kid could use some extra help. People get afraid that that means there's something wrong with their child. So people responded to that. A lot of people responded because they were dyslexic themselves or they had other uh, learning challenges, and they thought that it was handled beautifully. And to that, I say again, thank you to the writers. But in terms of playing it, you know, I always think that people who are smart and sarcastic and rough are always hiding something they're vulnerable vulnerable about. And I think that's true of Melissa Shimenti. She's a tough broad, but there's all sorts of soft stuff underneath. So I'm glad we got to see it. The last question: What episode coming up are you particularly excited for folks to see? I like. Uh, 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 there's one that I think it's called Fire Alarm. I'm not sure if it's this week. It might be, but it's great. It's great for everybody in the cast.